What's up, y'all? Today on Passport Kings, we gonna get rid of them haters. Engage. All right, so a few episodes back, I made some statements about haters and trolls. I explained how the hate built up in their souls is a result of them either failing at what they try or not even trying to live up to their goals. They get super frustrated at people that they perceive that are giving their lifelong dreams a shot. So instead of being motivated by seeing the progress of others, their minds snap back to the excuses that they made for themselves of why their plans won't work. And having those feelings come to the forefront of their consciousness makes them very angry. Science has proven that people associate their pain with whatever they're looking at when they start to feel that pain. For example, if a baby touches a stove and burns his hand, he's gonna associate stoves with pain. And it may be years before he realizes that the oven was not the source of his pain. It was the heat that was coming out of the oven that burned them. Well, the same goes for haters. When they see someone shining or having a good time in life, haters will feel the pain that is actually produced by their own failures. So instead of acknowledging what really hurts, some humans become only obsessed with revenge. And they want to repay that pain back to whoever they associated that pain with. And sometimes those haters' wounds, they're very deep. There's no telling how many times they were on the verge of trying to achieve something that would make them feel progress, but then get shot down by having nobody to believe in them, not believing in themselves, fear of failure, fear of success, not understanding vital information to make it happen, no startup money, seeing someone else materialize your idea first, not having time to try it, not having energy to do it, or having people tell you that you're too stupid to win. And you're a sucker for believing in things that takes faith and hard work with no immediate payoff in the short term. So you know what? These are some really hostile dudes when they decide to seek revenge on you for subconsciously bringing up these terrible emotions of failure. So now when you're bringing attention to what you're doing, advertising, or doing your best to create a movement around your project, products, or services, haters feel like you're repeatedly slapping them in the face every time they see your message. So yo, I've heard if you get a chance to look closely into a hater's face, you can actually see steam coming out of their ears. Like I said, they're furious by the time they get to your comment section. And at the same time, you're wondering, what the hell have I ever done to you? But when the madness starts and you don't have any experience dealing with hating trolls, our first response might be fighting fire with fire. And yes, you probably could outwit and outlast a lot of them. Most times we can easily pull up some dirt on them and put them on blast as well. You could even call up a couple of people from your old block and ask them if they want to make a few bucks by going to work that troll over. And let's face it, with today's technology, anybody can be found. And your old goons, they may want to go on a vacation to another city before paying somebody a visit. But the truth of the matter is, that time and that effort you put into getting a hater's mind right that's valuable time, and that's time not focused on your mission in life. Yes, you will be on course to your goals, because like I said in an earlier video, haters are excellent indications that you're progressing. At every victory's goal, there's usually a hater at that doorway. Haters are like stage bosses on video games. But the time you spend dealing with them, that's time being wasted on your true mission. Using the video game metaphor, the entire game has a time clock. Getting to the end of the stage and beating the hater there so you can move on to the next stage needs to be done as fast as humanly possible. Not as thoroughly as possible, but as fast as possible. You want to reserve as much time on the game's time clock as possible for other stages, other stage bosses, and of course, the final battle on the final stage with the last big boss. You want to get there with as much energy and as many lives and most importantly, as much time left on the clock as possible. There's no point of learning the ultimate super kick roundhouse fireball on earlier boards if as soon as you get to the final stage, the game says, time out, you lose. 
So if there's ever any way to avoid a hater, that's always your best bet. Because usually, once you pass one and get through that goal's door, you never have to come back through there. And yes, we all wish that life in the pursuit of happiness was not like this. But you know what? It has to be. Anything worth getting takes a specialist to get it. You have to be dedicated. Imagine if everyone could get it with little to no effort. Guess what? You wouldn't want it anymore. Would you want a spouse who gave it up to anyone that she came in contact with? No. You would hate her and every girl in the future that exhibits her traits. Now we all heard the phrase, let the haters be your motivators. But we're never told why or how. But the answer to the question why, I think I've answered it already. Haters are signs of progress. Because if you're still in the beginning of your personal stage one, you won't encounter no haters. They won't even know that you exist. You have to be motivated and start progressing in order to run into a hater. And when you do, you at least know that you made some progress. So how do you let the haters be your motivators? Here are my few Passport King suggestions. Ignore them if you can. You got stuff that you need to be working on. Be honest, you never put a hater destroyer plan in your original business plan. Don't let them pull you off course. You want as little contact as possible. Two. If a hater is a close friend or maybe a family member, they're just afraid that they're gonna lose you in your transition. Call them on the phone and say, yo, when this thing is fully functional, we'll still be friends. Plus, I have more money for beer rounds. But if you plan on dropping them as friends, revert back to plan one. Three, if you can't avoid them, block them. Most social media outlets have block buttons. Use them. And if your hater is your spouse, Maybe you should just keep on loving them, but don't mention your business plans to them. You can love your family and pick your peers. Discuss plans with believers, not doubters. And I know it sucks because you wish that your spouse would be on your team with this one. But you know what? They might not be able to see the bigger picture. Listen, people are one out of three. They're with you, they're against you, or they really don't care. Find out who that person is as soon as possible and then adjust your interactions with them. Again, for the internet trolls, the best revenge is doing well. Block them and let them hate from the sidelines because you don't need their madness entering your brain. One more thing, criticism when constructive should not be confused with being hated on. The best way to determine which it is is to try to decipher in what place is that commenter's mind and where is that remark coming from? Do they want you to improve or are they just wishing you failure on your project and death upon you? And realize that sometimes haters are cunning. What they say could probably start out as constructive criticism, but that can sometimes just be a doorway and they quickly change. Yo, just stay peaceful with them. Don't follow them down the road that in the end, they'll actually win because they're getting you off of your path so you don't remind them about the path that they're not on. Stay on your path, not theirs. But yo, if you have anything to add to this topic or about traveling in general, leave a comment below. I always answer them. But that will wrap up this episode, well, the haters episode of Passport King. If you enjoyed it, there's a few things that I would love for you to do to show your support. First, subscribe to this YouTube page. And if you're watching this video from another location, my YouTube page is youtube.com slash C slash Passport Kings. Also, like my Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash Passport Kings. Or my personal page, facebook.com slash Passport Rock. More importantly, if you want to be a Passport King, I suggest that you go to PassportKings.com slash contact us and fill out the little form that's on the right side of your screen. Not only will that get you on the path to becoming a Passport King, but that'll also give you the updates of all the hot spots that are going to be in the area all over the world from now on. I send out newsletters with the new hot spots that you probably should be at. But then go to the left side of the page, look at the video, See if being a Passport King is something that you're interested in and then join up. Just click the Join Now button and you could be a Passport King, you could travel, and you can make money off of it. Why should you, you ask? Because not only would it let me know that you enjoyed the content that I provide on the subject of traveling, 
but it'll also benefit you because you'll be kept in the loop about new travel info and deals. You'll be the first to know when a new Passport Kings video come out and you'll be the first to know if I have any updates about becoming a Passport King or some hot spots that we all need to be checking out. Also, join my Facebook group that's BM Travel. You can just click on the link below. It'll take you right to there. Lots of good information on there. We got some strong brothers on there that be bringing light to all types of situations pertaining to travel. Yo, let haters be your motivators. You don't got time for them. Just know when they appear, you doing what you're supposed to be doing. And that's the work of a king. A passport king. I'll talk to y'all next week. Thanks for tuning in.